Hey there, everybody. It's Speaker Shay Grace. It's time for you to pay rent. Bjorch? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Really? Yeah, I said that. It's time for you to pay rent. What are you talking about, Speaker Shay Grace, also known as the Resiliency Coach? That's right. This is Speaker Shay Grace, also known as the Resiliency Coach. Whether on stage or working one-on-one, I help people overcome barriers to success. I help people understand that they can get up and still win. And so this video, I'm going to talk to you about your beliefs and paying rent on your beliefs. I know that, isn't that crazy? Uh-oh, my mouse is doing something on my computer. Isn't that crazy, though? It, isn't that a crazy concept? What if we had to pay rent on beliefs? What if we got to go to the store, walk through the aisle, and pick up the beliefs that we want to have and pay rent on them every month? I bet there are some beliefs we believe right on the fucking shelf. I know there are some beliefs I would have left on the shelf. I think at some point as adults, we have to, oh, man, I do not see my mouth and it's just dancing all over the screen. Um, I believe as adults we have to examine some of the beliefs that we picked up as children. And our parents, our grandparents, school, church, whoever gave us these beliefs, and we just bought them hook, line, and sinker, didn't even ask. Didn't bother to ask, but we're still paying for them every month. The longer we believe them, the longer we pay. Isn't that a crazy concept? i got to develop this more because I I know this is something good. I'm going to put it together and put it on another video. But what if the beliefs that no longer serve us, what if we could get rid of them and take them back and put them on the shelf and stop paying rent on them? Because it's like you pay rent on a thought. You hold that thought and you act out that belief and that thought, and it costs you in the long run. Hmm. Case in point, if somebody told you when you were a child you are unlovable, nobody's going to want you, you're no good, and you should be beat up when you misbehave, a person might buy into that belief and they go into their adult life believing that they're not lovable believing that they deserve to be punched and kicked and hit and insulted and and um and uh um, gaslighted you know manipulated all of these things so they buy into that belief as a child and they grow up to become an adult and they act their life out because they bought into that belief they pay rent on that belief but although they're carrying that belief with them and they're paying rent on that belief every month, it's costing them big time. See, the longer they believe that be- uh, that belief, that lie, that they deserve to be treated shitty, the longer they believe that, the longer they stay in relationships that destroy them mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. The longer a person believes that they deserve poor treatment the longer they believe that the longer and the the longer they believe that the more damage it does so they pay rent on these beliefs every month and it costs them it costs them peace of mind it costs them dignity it costs them black eyes. It costs them hospital bills. It costs them shame and guilt and trying to hide from their family. To hold that belief and pay for it every month is detrimental. What if you could actually take that belief back to a store and turn it in for a new belief? What you talking about, Scoop Shea? <laughs> what if you could stop paying rent on that shitty thought And go back to the store and buy a new thought and a belief. You buy a new belief and a brand new package, and the package says, worthy. You turn it over, and you look at the back of the package of the belief, and the back of the belief says, I am enough. I am lovable. I am valuable. I am a child of God. I deserve the best. So they pick up a new belief and put down the old belief, and they carry that belief with them, and they pay rent on it every month. 
And because that's their new belief, they act as though. So when somebody else steps up to them and say, you know what, girl or guy, I'm about to punch you in the face because you didn't do what I said. I'm going to snatch you by the neck because you didn't do what I said. You didn't cook my dinner right. You didn't fry my chicken the way I like it. You didn't do what I said. I'm going to smack you, punch you, kick you. Well, if a person has bought into a new belief, they already know that they're a child of God. They don't deserve it. They've already bought a new belief that says I'm enough. So when somebody says nobody's going to love you but me, they already know inside I'm enough. I'm enough. I'm enough to get God's love. I'm enough to get healthy love. I believe in myself. I care about myself. I deserve the best. I am love. I am lovable. They have a new belief. And because they have that new belief, they can now reject that situation and say, "Uh uh-uh, that don't even match my belief. And I'm paying rent on this belief. This is the belief I have for myself that I'm worthy to be loved, respected, and honored. That's my new belief. That old belief that I had that I wasn't shit and I deserve to be treated like shit and I the belief that it's okay for you to punch me if I don't do it. See, that's an old belief that doesn't serve me and it fucking costs too much. You pay rent on it and then you pay in other ways. So I'm going to develop this idea a little bit more because I, I just got something here. It's in my spirit. I can't get it out. So forgive me for not being able to uh, put it out on this video as much as I want to, but our beliefs cost us. And the longer we hold on to them, it's like paying rent on them. So you change your beliefs to support the life that you want. You change your belief to create the life that you want. You have to believe it first. You have to believe you're going to be successful. You have to believe you're going to be a multimillionaire. You have to believe that new customers are coming into your business every day. You have to believe that you are worthy. You have to believe that you are enough. You have to believe that you are smart. You have to believe that a way is going to be made. You have to believe that God and his angels are supporting you. You have to believe that you have greatness inside of you. You have to believe that those things. And when you pick up those type of beliefs, it becomes easy to pay on those rent, you know, every month, pay rent on those new beliefs every month and watch your life turn around because you'll start acting as though those things are true. Yeah. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you're interested uh, in here in the next video as I develop this idea, paying rent on our beliefs. Yeah. Let me let me talk. Matter of fact, I might have to reach out to a fellow speaker that I know who is uh, the belief coach. I might want to discuss this with him and maybe even do a webinar or something with him so you can join in and we can examine our beliefs together. The faster we change our beliefs, the faster we change our thoughts and life. I'm serious. All right, this is Speaker Shay Grace. Le- like this video, comment below it, or share it, and then Hop on over to YouTube and subscribe to my channel, Severely Ambitious. I'll talk to you on the next video. Thanks for watching.